Justin Fish, hear more of those stories in a minute. But first, we start with breaking news. Tulsa police, along with the Department of Homeland Security, involved in a large raid at a facility in Coweta. 2 News Oklahoma's Justin Ayer is at that scene and has the very latest. Justin, what are you seeing there? Well, I'll tell you right now, as we speak, Justin, there seems to be a bunch of crews loading up this orange truck behind me here with what looks to be catalytic converters. Where we are right now, we're off of Oklahoma 51, right in the Onita area of Broken Arrow. Where they're raiding is this blue storage facility. It's right next to Luke's Barbecue. If you're familiar with the area to the left, you got Wholesale Auto uh, Incorporated on the right. You can see a bunch of crews there going through this blue storage unit. Uh, they're taking pictures. They're taking out items. Again, what looks to be catalytic converters and loading it on to this truck. Now, since I've been here, we got here around 10 o'clock, we've seen TPD, Tulsa Police, we've seen the Department of Homeland Security, as well as Coweta Fire here. The scene has died down quite a little bit, but this all started around 8 o'clock this morning, um, and, it, and it was quite a scene. A lot of passerbys were actually driving slower uh, right as we pulled up to see what was going on. Now, in terms of exactly what they're doing, I really cannot tell you what they're doing. Uh, they have not told us, uh, but they did say that there will be uh, some kind of an update this afternoon along with the press conference to come um, in the next few days. So what I'm showing you right now is, is essentially just what I'm seeing and hearing is uh, they, they seem to be collecting what looks to be catalytic converter, some kind of item from inside this blue storage facility behind me here. The sign says custom cuts uh, to the blue storage facility. There doesn't seem to be um, any other kind of signage here, but um, that's where they are. And uh, that's where they have been since around eight o'clock this morning, guys. Uh, we'll of course keep you posted if there's any updates throughout the day. We're live, Justin Ayer, 2 News, Oklahoma.